welcome you to my uh, second video blog. I'm speaking from my own residence and uh, what you see here in the backdrop, all the books here and all the books here and this big one, all these are the books that uh, I had the privilege of writing. But we'll talk about the books uh, some other time. What I thought I would do in my second uh, video blog is to report to you on the first week of the first half of the budget session that just got over. As I reported last time, in my first, very first video blog, budget session started with uh, the Honorable President addressing combined session of both houses. After that, on 1st February, the budget for the year 2016-17 was presented. Sorry, not financial year 16-17 budget, it is actually financial year 17-18 budget was presented by the finance minister. This is an outstanding budget and uh, I went on all different TV channels in Marathi, in Hindi, as well as in English, uh, on the national channels as well, uh, to talk about uh, the budget. Uh, the budget is very good. It's a very balanced budget and a very progressive budget. However, while I like the budget generally, I have uh, said in my interviews that I will give 8 out of 10 for this budget because uh, the two marks that I'm going to cut are because of two shortcomings of this budget. The first shortcoming of the budget is that last year, the Honorable Finance Minister had announced that the farmers' income would be doubled in five years. While this year, significant attention has been given to farmers and on the rural development, still a concrete program of action for doubling the farmers' income in the next five years has not been presented. The second shortcoming of this budget is that while the allocation for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes has been raised to 53,000 crores and 31,000 crores respectively, the basic institutional mechanism in terms of scheduled caste sub-plan and the tribal sub-plan which was going on for last 50 years, that has been abolished and I am not happy about it because the institutionalized mechanism was linking the allocation with the share of population of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in the total population. Now, henceforth, this welfare allocation, putting this allocation into welfare schemes gives a lot of latitude to the government to increase, decrease at will in absence of the institutionalized mechanism. You know, I have spoken extensively about uh, the positives as well as negatives in the series of interviews and the speeches that I have made on budget. Uh, in fact, there was uh, a Facebook live chat and link of which is available. There, I have explained all these things and I also answered questions of my Facebook uh, live friends. So that you can click on that and you can watch that video. Now on Friday, that is yesterday, there was uh, in the question hour, there was a big discussion on the reforms in railway. The Honorable Railway Minister was explaining uh, about the improvements which are being made uh, uh, in the railways in terms of the bridges, in terms of many other improvements about the railway safety and about uh, even CCTV. I quickly pointed out in my supplementary question that all these reforms are fine, but we are forgetting basic reform that is required and that is making railway stations disabled people friendly. This is very, very important because 99% of the railway stations even today do not have simple ramp on which disabled people can take their wheelchair or the senior citizens can pull their bag. So it is very important. I pointed out and suggested that there should be a concrete program of action, time-bound action during which all the major railway stations would be made friendly to disabled people as well as for senior citizens. And I am happy to report that the minister accepted my suggestion. It has been recorded and now the assurances committee will follow it up and in the near future one can see this major improvement in terms of providing and making railway stations uh, disabled people friendly and friendly to the senior citizens. Interestingly, I also brought out to the notice of the house the conditions of Mumbai suburban railway travel. I pointed out that traveling by railway 
in Mumbai suburban is nothing short of a torture for most of the people and for senior citizens and for women and for disabled people it is nothing but a nightmare and I am very happy to report that my several colleagues including member of parliament Sri Majid Menon very strongly supported uh, my idea and we insisted that a lot of reforms are required to make the Mumbai suburban railway journey at least tolerable if not better. That's all for today uh, friends. Please do like this video, comment on this. Your comments, suggestions are most welcome and I do take a look at it and also please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.